In order to leverage the Apache NAFAS extensibility characteristic, let's also dig deeper into creating and deploying a custom processor. First covering some theoretical facts, followed by demoing the creation and deployment. As we know, despite providing a huge number of pre-built processors, the idea of Apache NAFAS is also to enable one dealing with even the most specific need for integrating data, which you can definitely achieve by developing your own custom processor. The processor can then be reused at any point in the data flow, and just need to be dragged onto the canvas. This might even open up other new possibilities. You can further version a custom processor, which helps in staying compatible in case of running multiple instances, or in general to keep or step back to older versions. The software required to develop your own custom processor are the followings. Firstly, the Java development kit. Double check twice that you haven't installed only the Java runtime environment for running Java applications, otherwise you won't be able to compile the application. Then you should have an integrated development environment for Java, such as NetBeans or Eclipse. And the easiest way to get started in writing a custom processor is to use the Apache Maven archetype included with NIFI. Maven is basically a management tool managing Apache software projects. In this demo we will see how to effectively create and deploy a custom processor. First we will install and configure the software required for working with Apache Maven. Then we will generate a new project based on the just mentioned Maven archetype included with Apache NiFi. And finally we will see how to deploy this newly created example processor in NiFi. Alright, the first thing we are going to do is downloading the current version of Apache Maven from the official website. Here you have listed the system requirements for Maven. Let's download the binary zip archive and extract it to a local folder. To this folder we then need to set a new system environment variable. I will call it Maven Home. Here we can also see that our Java Home variable is now pointing to a Java Development Kit installation, different to our first demos. In order to address the Maven installation from anywhere on the system, we further need to configure it in the path system variable accordingly. We click Edit and add a new entry referencing the just created variable, including the percentage signs and slash bind, just like the Java Home variable. Let's now open the Windows command prompt and navigate to the folder where we want to create our processor. For this we can use the mvn command, followed by archetype colon generate, to build the required Java files based on the Maven archetype. After downloading some repositories, we will be asked for a bunch of parameters. First we need to apply a filter, which is NIFA in our case, filtering out NIFA projects. Then we already get proposed just two bundles, for a custom processor or a controller service. We will go on with choosing option 1 and select the version matching with our Apache NIFA installation version. After selecting the version, we will see a menu to define different Maven related properties. They actually just matter for the Maven project. At first a group ID that uniquely identifies your project, let's call it Pluralsight Custom Processor. The artifact ID we will call nifi pluralsight bundle This is the name of the jar file without the version number, which is the next property, setting it to 1. Followed by the artifact base name, which should line up with the part of the artifact ID between nifi and bundle. This would just be Pluralsight in our case. And finally the Java package for the processors. Here we just hit enter and take the default values. We confirm the summarized entries with yes and retrieve the output of the build success command. The folder of our new processor got created and is populated with a bunch of files, which we will open with NetBeans. Here we will straight away change the Maven home path to our install Maven location in order to finally compile the project. And we also want to skip any tests. When you collapse the first folder, you can see two modules. We open the first one. Here we finally find our Java file containing the actual code of the processor. The name of this file is also going to be the name of the processor in NiFi, but you could still change it. For this, you would also need to adapt the file located in meta services. Back to the processor file, the first information, tag and description is what you can see in the Add Processor menu. Let's make changes here in order to look it later up after deploying the processor. Then starts the main class of our processor. First an example property and second an example relationship. Of course you can add further entries here, but for this demo let's just also change the names. The actual logic of the processor you can find within the onTrigger function. There you can make usage of the properties and relationships defined above and add the code for accomplishing the actual requirement. The result you then need to write into the flow file and transfer it to the corresponding relationship. However, we won't get that far into Java programming. What we are going to do next is to deploy the processor in NiFi. For this we first compile the Maven project by hitting clean and build in the context menu. 
This generates the final required file. Once you build successfully, you can find the NAR file under the target folder. This file we take and copy it into the extension folder of our Apache Alpha installation. After refreshing the UI, it should already be listed among all the other processors. We can see our change tag and description, and also the property and the changed name of the relationship. Well, that's it. You are now able to develop your own custom processor.